Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have an enormous Bath & Body Works haul. Like, <laughs> oh my god. I went crazy. They just kept having sales and this was two different shopping trips. So one shopping trip was specifically for candles and then the second one was specifically for soaps. So that's usually what I pretty much buy at Bath & Body Works. Haven't really dipped into their lotions and skincare stuff. I'm just obsessed with their candles. I find that they smell so good and I can't wait to do this haul so I can start burning them. I've already started burning one of them. I got two. So yeah. I can't wait. So okay. let's jump in. And I've noticed that Bath & Body Works has kind of been branching out of their typical packaging and coming out with these really neat packages for their candles, which I think is really nice because although I do like the generic label, I, I think that it's nice to kind of have more decorative candles to have for your home. So this is what I'm talking about, this kind of like ombre-ish glass and it's really really pretty and up close you can see that it has like rouging throughout i got a few that are like this so this one here is called frosty air this is what the kind of the logo would look like i guess it smells so just fresh in my opinion so the highest concentration of rich fragrance oils oh that's not it is that i know for um american candles they have it on the back but for in canada they do not Put that stuff on the back so it describes it to be frosty winter air crisp white cotton eucalyptus and icy vanilla so i definitely smell a lot of the vanilla and definitely i can smell the eucalyptus i don't know what cotton smells like the next one i got i wanted to get one that was a little bit sweet so i got this one here this one is called salted caramel it's so cute the packaging see this is what i mean like sometimes i don't mind having the label packaging as opposed to the pretty packaging and it smells so good mm, just really sweet caramelly but not overpowering so it's not going to make your house smell like a sugar it's not going to make your house smell like a sugar sugary cavity <laughs> and this one is described to be salted caramel, roasted chestnut, caramelized sugar, and dark molasses. And I definitely, definitely smell all of that in here. It is so, so good. If you want something that's sweet but not too overwhelming, I definitely recommend the salted caramel. All right, next up we have this one here is the one that I got two of. I'm currently burning the other one in my bedroom. I'm obsessed with this scent. I get it every single year. So it is Tis the Season. This is what this one looks like. It's the generic packaging. The other one that I have in my room, honestly, it has such cute Christmas packaging. It's like Christmas bulbs all the way around. It smells like Christmas. I have no other way to explain this. So this is described as red delicious apple, sweet cinnamon bark, and cedar wood. And I think it's the cinnamon that I really like that's in here because I love cinnamon. Oh, it's so good. I definitely recommend this one for the holidays. Oh, it's just so good. I got two more. I got another one that's like this packaging. So, so pretty. And I actually, oh yeah, this one is a classic one for me. I've been purchasing this one since Bath & Body Works came to Canada. Like, I don't know, like five years ago. Oh, it's so good. It's mahogany teakwood and everyone describes this one to smell exactly like Abercrombie and Fitch. Like when you walk into Abercrombie and Fitch, you know, you get that like whew, of cologne. This smells exactly like that. It smells just so, so good, but not too overpowering. Like you're not like, whoa. So rich mahogany, black teakwood, dark oak and frosted lavender. I would never have guessed that there was lavender in this scent. I can definitely smell the other ones, but lavender and I don't know what frosted lavender means either but oh it just smells so good and another one that I really like if you're looking for more of like a manly scent um is black tie I love that one as well and my boyfriend currently has that one in his studio and he loves it he really likes that scent so if you're looking for a candle for your husband or your boyfriend or your brother or whatever um definitely recommend mahogany teakwood or black tie uh, that one I didn't get a repurchase of because we still have it, but oh, that one's really good. And don't get me wrong, like you think that guys don't care, they care. Everybody likes their house to smell nice. It's just, it's a known fact. So don't think that a candle wouldn't be a, a good gift for them, but definitely gift yourself. All right, the last one that I got, my dad actually picked this one out, speaking of guys liking candles. Um, this one is called Spiced Gingerbread and it does have the generic 
packaging, but the rest of the candle is kind of like a fogged glass. So I really like that compared to the other ones. I think it's really pretty. Mm, and this is, again, it's kind of sweet, but it's got that spice. It's another really good one for the holidays. Once I'm done burning Tis the Season, I'm definitely burning this one. Or I might burn this one in this room and keep Tis the Season in my bedroom. I can't find that one on the on the website, but this one, honestly, it's it's just spiced gingerbread. It smells so good. Oh, and I love the little packaging, the gingerbread man with the tree leaves. It looks so, so cute. Moving on to soaps, I picked up six soaps and then I have two um, that I haven't used yet that I thought I would just mention. So this one's Eucalyptus Mint. This one here is Japanese Cherry Blossom. So these are two from, I think, back in the summer that I picked up and I really like those ones. So the next one that I got is Kitchen Lemon. So this is Zesty Lemon Sparkling Citrus in Italian Bergamot. Bergamot? Bergamot? I don't know. This one is a super popular one, but this is my first time trying it. I really like lemon, so I think I'm gonna really like this one. I'm thinking of putting it either in the kitchen or in the bathroom. Next, I have Tis the Season. We've discussed that this is definitely one of my favorite scents and I can't wait to use this one. It's so, so good. I also got Winter and Winter is another candle that I have purchased many, many times. I have one right now, it's burning downstairs and it's such a good scent. So I got the soap to try as well. Fresh pine, snowy citrus, and white woods. It's just so nice for all winter long. Even in the fall months, like if you live in an area like I do where it gets kind of chilly in the fall months, winter is good for that whole span. Then I got Peach Bellini. Peach Bellini is one of my all-time faves. I really like this scent. It's, it's fruity, but not overpowering. I find it's one of the only fruity scents that they have that isn't too overpowering. So I picked up this in a hand soap and I actually still have two Peach Bellini candles. Juicy Peach, White Apricot, and Fresh Mango. And I, I'm surprised that I like this one because I it is really fruity, but it's not overpowering. So I really, really like this guy. As you can probably tell, I like to hoard Bath & Body Works, but I only buy when there are sales. Like I'll never buy a candle full price. That's crazy. Like they're so expensive, $23.50 and some of these ones here, $26, no. I only buy them when they're like $10.50 plus my 20% off coupon, give it to me. And the soaps, I always buy them like 10 for 30 or something like that. Next up we got Winter White Woods. So I've never smelt this, never tried it, nothing. So this is white birch and juniper berry wrapped in warm vanilla. Like, yes please. And last I got Frosted Cranberry. This one just looked so good. As I mentioned, I am a little bit finicky with um, the fruit scents. So I'm trying out the lemon one and I'm trying out the cranberry one. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love the lemon one, but the cranberry one, I'm a little nervous, but it says it's frosted cranberry sprinkled with iced peach. So I think it's gonna be a good one. We'll see. So that is everything that I got at Bath & Body Works. I just wanted to put up this haul. I thought it'd be fun. I thought it would be fun to share with you guys the scents that I'm currently loving. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.